praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, uh, uh, Pastor Joanne, the Lord has spoken with me. Lord Jehovah, Jehovah Eloheka, Jehovah El Shama, the Lord, the Blessed One of Israel, Jehovah Mekadishken, the Lord, Jehovah Rufe, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Eloheinu, Jehovah Eloheka, the mighty cornerstone of Zion, Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah Yire, Jehovah Sabaoth, Jehovah Hoseinu, Jehovah Elohim, Elion, El Olam, Sikainu, El Shaddai. He has spoken with me about the big meeting that is coming up in Nakuru, the super glorious grand mega Nakuru revival. And uh, he has continued to now speak with me about the greater detail of the visitation that he has prepared for the Church of Christ world over from Nakuru. And the Lord says that this is going to be a historic visitation. That this visitation is going to be like none other, never seen before. And uh, in that conversation, I see this crippled boy. It's a boy. I don't know whether the, 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 the short saw the tree. It's kind of a grayish that is going to stand up in front of the cameras. There is a crippled boy that is going to stand up in front of the cameras. Crippled, when the cameras are on, then he's going to stand up. And then many, many, many cripples are going to stand up from many, many places within the entire meeting. It is going to be historic. At one point, it will be chaotic in the meeting when many, many numbers of cripples will get up and start to walk in all directions and walk away. So this is going to be a tremendous visitation of the latter glory of the Lord. And uh, I also see myself in the meeting. The Lord showed me myself, and my face was wet. My face was very, very wet. That the Lord opened heaven, and my face was wet. The glory of the Lord is going to pour in the field. So right now, uh, right at this hour, this is what the Lord is saying. That the church is sitting on the verge of a historic visitation right now as we speak. Right now, I know that many, many, many pastors are landing at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. I know that many, many began to arrive yesterday from Italy. They're arriving from all over the world. They, 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 they are, they, there's continuous landing. There's a lot of pastors are touching down at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and headed to Nakuru. And yet the Lord is saying that even as they come, right now the church is sitting on the verge of the most historic visitation on the face of the earth. There is going to be a tremendous visitation of unseen proportion. I see so many cripples that will get up and walk, so many blind, so many will cheer, so many white cans for the blind, so many cripples blind, so many deaf, so many mute, so many lame legs that will be pulled and stretched and add columns create a column of a bone, column of a leg, many, many broken hips, spinal cord injuries, broken backs, broken skulls, broken necks, broken knees, broken bones, ribs, tumors that will dissolve in the brain, in the body, restoration of the heart, those hearts that were enlarged, the, the livers, the kidneys that were under dialysis, that could not function, the collapsing lungs, the blood conditions, leukemia, diabetes, hypertension, HIV AIDS, down the line, the Lord is going to dry wounds, he's going to kill all cancer from the blood, you know, death in the blood is going to be extinguished. 
the Lord is going to heal all manner of diseases under the sun, under the heaven. And so he has spoken with me about this very, very big visitation that is coming to visit this land and to visit the church. And since all the nations have been summoned, since the Lord has summoned all the nations in Akuru, so this is going to be a visitation that has global impact. So he is coming to visit the body of Christ globally. Globally. Because many, many, many nations will be represented. This could be the big swinging door, swinging open of the doors of revival that will go into many, many, many nations, even as will be represented in that meeting. I see this particular crippled boy. I see, I see the shorts. It's a khaki. It looks more like khaki. I don't know whether it's khaki or not, but it's grayish khaki if it's a khaki short. And he stands up in front of the camera before he walks. First of all, he stands up and he has not even made one step. So those that have not walked for the first time will be able to walk and celebrate in joy and weeping. The tears of joy, they will not, uh, not describe, they will not understand what they are going through. Because Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Hoseinu, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sidkenu, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah Elohenu, Jehovah Rafa, Jehovah Eloheka, Meka Dishken, Jehovah Nisi. He is coming to visit the Church of Christ in a manner never ever seen before. Right now, the earth is sitting on the verge of a major, major visitation from heaven. And this is going to be the blessedness of this generation, the blessedness of our time, that anybody could live to see this. Again, I know that right now many, many flights are landing from Kenyatta International Airport with many, many troops and troops and groups of pastors coming to witness for themselves this visitation. And I see a massive, massive visitation that will take place in Nakuru. I see my face is wet as I'm, as I'm standing on the altar. I see these cripples, blind, deaf, mute, lame, paralytic, spinal cord injuries, broken backs, broken necks, wounds, blood conditions, the miracles of creation. Many things are going to be done as he wipes out all these kinds of sicknesses, maladies, diseases, infirmities that have plagued these people over time. It looks like the way the Lord has set up this visitation, it looks to me more like he's preparing the church for entry. In fact, at one point in this visitation, I trembled. I trembled because I did not know what this beholds in terms of the coming of the Messiah. However, the Lord is saying that the earth, the entire earth, is now sitting on the verge of a major, major visitation. And this now centralizes, crystallizes, this now crystallizes this rhetoric, this trumpeting, this clamoring for righteousness, righteousness, holiness, holiness that has been going on for more than 12 years world over, where he has been sending his servant globally to always preach righteousness, to shout holiness, to shout righteousness, shout holiness all throughout. It says this now crystallizes that message of the need for the church to stop the gospel of prosperity and return now to righteousness, return to holiness, return to the latter glory of the Lord. Because the more they seek the things of this world, the money, the land, name it, you know, the gospel of wealth, you know, the more they do that, the more they lose out of the glory. However, there is an awakening now and the wisdom of open heaven has released wisdom now and now many 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 nations and churches are now returning to the true gospel of the blood and the cross the gospel of salvation of holiness and righteousness the gospel of repentance and rejecting sin he's saying that these are the true gains of repentance the true gain of the gospel of holiness and righteousness so again the lord is saying that right now the earth is sitting on the verge of a major historic visitation. I have seen so many. I've seen a big, a shocking number of healings in that meeting. And the gathering is going to be the biggest. That is the place for every 
everybody to be. Whoever can make it there, that is a place nobody wants to miss to be. Because you don't know what the Lord will do there. You don't know what it will end, what it will imply, what it will mean to those who are there in that visitation. This is the biggest visitation of our time. The Lord has now chosen and decided to prepare this place of Nakuru to be his very important place for a historic visitation, a visitation that changes events on this earth. I have seen tremendous, tremendous visitation, and there will be a huge, a huge joy that will elate the church in that place. I see it will be a big celebration that breaks out, non-stop celebration. It will be difficult to stop that meeting. It will be difficult to say, time is over, let us go now, the meeting is over. Because I see a huge, huge celebration of the revival that breaks out from there to the ends of the earth. However, the earth is now sitting on the verge of that historic visitation. May those who have ears begin to prepare to pack their bags and head to that site of the visitation of the Lord. The Lord has already commanded and summoned people to that place. People are coming from Oslo in Norway. They are coming from Sweden, from Finland, from the UK. Even some pastors are just sending letters at this hour, getting new tickets. It's flooding more than... 500 pastors right now who, are, who have already confirmed they are coming, their flight tickets. So it's going to be one of the biggest gathering also in the history of this earth. May the Lord bless Kenya. I bless you, Kenya. I bless you very, very much. I bless this land, the land that has hosted this revival. I really bless this land. I really bless you because on this land, the Lord has placed his seat. That now out of this land, many churches and many nations may come and fetch the fire tap, the visitation of the glory of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. Amen.